Good morning. So today I tried something a little bit different with my hair when I got out of the shower. Instead of running my product through all of my hair and scrunching all of my hair, I divided it into sections. Um, so I did one section right above my ears, so I um, applied the product at the bottom and scrunched there. And then I did another section just here along the middle. Um, another section along the top um, back of my crown and then a couple sections along the front um, and my bangs. And then um, especially here right on the very top layer I actually did a lot of finger curls and everything because my hair is just naturally a little bit straighter on top and without you know sh turning my head upside down and shaking and everything else it, in being able to scrunch a big chunk all at once and everything it it just kind of needed it for this technique. Um, but as you can see, I have very elongated ringlets in my hair. My hair looks quite a bit longer. Um, it's not completely dry yet. I haven't diffused it either. But I'll just let you look at it um, for a minute. So you can see that um, I have a lot of pieces lifting off um, my crown here. And um, lots of definition in my curls. It was a little bit time consuming. I think um, I'll only just get quicker if I get used to it. Have my products all on hand and um, you know just apply it to each section um, and then move up. I used a couple pins to hold the sections up on top of my head until I was ready for that and everything. So once it's completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little shake, I think. I might turn my head upside down a little and scrunch just a little, but I don't want to separate those curls too much. I want to leave them as um, uniform as possible. Um, I think you can kind of tell. I have a little less body than I normally do, but I'm sure that once it dries and I fluff it out a little bit, um, you know, most of that will come back. If I really wanted to run my fingers through it or do a little um, lifting at my root or something, I'm sure it would poof out just the same as it always does. But this is a little bit of a different look and I wanted to let you know how I did that. Um, you know, sorry I didn't actually demonstrate it. Um, I'm not the the best um, video editor or anything and I didn't want to bore you. <laughs> I think it, you know, it's common sense. You just divide it into sections, apply the product one section at a time and, and everything. So give that a try if you want a little bit more um, defined curls, a little bit more elongated curls and let me know what you think. Okay so I decided to come back and film just a little bit of how my hair is doing now that it's drying. Um, put on some makeup too so oh my goodness a little bit better than before. It's ridiculous. I know makeup is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Anyway, so you can you can see that my hair has a little bit of a cast on it. It's kind of crunchy. Um, it's almost dry. The back part of my hair is still just a little damp inside here. So I'm only going to shake it right now because I'm getting ready to, sorry the lighting, I'm getting ready to leave the house and I want it to look just a little bit better. So um, I'm going to go ahead and shake it a little bit. I know it's ridiculous for me to do that. Put my head back. Get it roughed up from my scalp. Okay, so it's moving around a little bit already. Um, I got a couple pieces here. I wanted to mention this to you. These curls, they do just fine until the very end and then I kept wanting to make them go in just a little bit more so that it would curve in and, and instead it kind of wants to stick out. And I think that has to do with my hair needing to be like one inch longer. So in the meantime you just kind of rely on hairspray or tuck it in or connect it to another curl or something. So um, I'm going to squirt that right now while I can. So anyway, I just wanted to see if that made a little bit of a difference. I think you can tell 
that it's going to look nice when it's totally dry. So, okay, okay, so I'll be I'm back, back at the end of the day. My hair I have fluffed out. This is as fluffy as it's going to get right now unless I literally run my fingers through it. Um, I will go ahead and turn around and let you get a good look. It's been completely dry. I de decrunched it and kind of shook it around a little bit. I flipped it upside down a few times and rustled it up um, at my roots uh, with my fingers inside there underneath. I'm trying to get a good light on it for you so you can see whether or not you think it looks any different with this technique. Um, this is where I divided my hair into sections and I basically did some finger twirling along the whole top section of my hair. I think you can tell that it has a little bit more ringlets. It's less scruffy looking. It's more, a um, little bit more like um, clean, I guess you could say, because the pieces are a little bit more defined than normal even. Um, I have quite a lot of ringlets over here on this side. You can see, and there's a lot of these throughout my hair. I think when it's all in one big blob like this on a picture or a photo, it's kind of hard to see them. Um, but you can see they're in there uh, right here. There's a few right there all around the side of my my ear and everything. So um, this has enough body to me. I like the shape of it and everything. Um, you know, I don't think day two or three hair is going to look the same as day one. So this is my day one hair and I like that it has the ringlets and everything. Um, I like that day two I can sleep on it and, it and if it gets a little bit squished in a couple places that's okay. I can still run my fingers through it and then it gets a little bit more body, a little bit more wave the next day or so. Maybe refresh it. Um, you know, on day three or something like that with a little bit of the the um, the KY. So that's basically it. I have one piece here that's sticking out funny. There's always at least one piece that sticks out funny. So hopefully that kind of shows you um, this new technique and how it turns out. Um, and then in another video coming up, I'm actually going to show you my hair with no product. Just straight out of the shower, let it air dry. And you'll be able to see the difference, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know why I'm doing all this. I mean, it's been forever since I've just let my hair go completely with nothing in it. Um, but yeah, I think there'll be a big difference. So that'll be fun for you to look forward to. Thanks for watching.